my name is Rosemary Dean, I'm Vice Principal Education and Dean of the Doctoral School and the woman who inspired me is called Olive Banks and she was a sociologist of education and I first met her at the University of Leicester in the very early 1970s when I just finished my first degree in sociology at Leicester and I was doing a master's in philosophy research degree and Olive became my supervisor. Olive was very good because she was very encouraging, she was always available to see you, she read your work quickly uh, and she thought a lot about what I was doing and at the time I don't think, I, I knew that she had found quite a difficulty in getting uh, a job that she wanted because her husband was also in the department and I think the department really wanted to appoint her husband uh, who was an industrial sociologist called Joe Banks rather than her and so he got a professorship when they came which was in 1970 and she didn't and then in a couple of years later she actually was appointed a professor and although I knew this at the time I wasn't really Really thinking about the significance so much but she was the first woman ever at the University of Leicester which was you know had, had been around quite a few decades by then uh, to be a professor at that university and when she left uh, she retired in I think 1982 she was still the only woman professor in the university so that must have been quite hard for her I think uh, and I know that she always did a lot of teaching and she seemed to do a lot of administration and that might possibly have had something to do with the fact that she was a woman I kept in touch with Olive for a long time after I left and about four years after I left she wrote to me and said that a publisher had contacted her to see if she wanted to write a book about women in education and she said that she didn't have time to do it because she was writing another book and would I like to do it? So I said yes. So that became my first book which is called Women in Schooling which was published in 1978. So without Olive I not only would have not got the research degree but I wouldn't have published the book either. And I kept in touch with her for a long time, even after she retired. And in fact, when I went to the University of Lancaster in the 1990s, uh, when I did my inaugural lecture, which is probably about 1994, Olive actually came to it, which I was really pleased about. Uh, unfortunately, when I did another lecture when I moved to Bristol University um, in the 2000s, she, I think she could have come, but Joe by then was quite ill with cancer and he wasn't able to travel. And, and she died about three years ago. But she's always someone that I've sort of seen as a kind of role model and somebody who was the model of what you should be if you're a good supervisor. Supportive all the way through your studies but also keeps in touch with you afterwards and I've always tried to do that now with my own students and past students.